businesses keep them going, find markets and create opportunities. Those are the two things that I would, if I were writing my own ticket about what I was doing in America, I'd be writing them. I think I, I have no idea. I, you know, I'm more interested in what I've been called upon to do. But I, I, uh, my guess is, since there's a protocol office in the White House, you know, for the government that handles all this stuff, they'll decide on this. But I could care less. I, we got to win this thing first. It starts in Pennsylvania. Thank you. We Thank will. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. I love you. 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 Favorite rabbi in Arkansas when I was governor. So, oh, really? Yeah, I did I've not been, know that. I've known Laser Pollux since about that. Well, I'm calling him. I'm going, Laser, my tribute. Once a little interview. Laser. Can you get in the picture with you real quick? Yeah, come on. But you got to hurry. we got to start this event. Come on, guys. Don't want to be late. I'm going to say hi nice. to that Vietnam man. Thank, thank you. you uh, thank you for your shirt, sir. I like it. Thank, thank, you. thank you for your shirt and for your service. Thank you. So in another world, we'd like to get stopped here. You bet. I talked to. Uh, I thought you gave a very good answer on that. I don't know if you saw the debate. I want to get in with them. Because they tried to say, they pushed her. The question is, they said, now, how can you say you're going to bring these troops out in a fixed amount of time and look at what General Petraeus said? It's very interesting. And she said, yes, General Petraeus said that, but he said, she, she said, do you remember when he went there? He said, give me more troops, I'll take the violence down, we'll buy the space to make decisions. So the president gave him the troops, he took the violence down, they made the space and they made no decisions. She said, unless we bring our troops home, they will never decide to do what they have to do to pull our country together. And she made it, and she basically shut the argument down. It was terrific. She said, you know, it just can't be done. There is no argument. No. You know, I, Hillary spends a lot of time on Walter Reed Hospital because she's got the 10th Mountain Division in New York yeah. and because she's on the Veterans Committee. Mm -hmm. You see all these guys, with these, and women too, with these traumatic brain injuries where the roadside bombs blew up and they're close to them. Rattles their brains and their skulls. It's, it's a very important thing. I, but it was interesting. They, they gave it up, and I noticed afterward a lot of the columnists jumped on her and said, you know, how can you say you're going to bring them home in a certain amount of time? It's the only way to do it. <laughs> he probably agrees with you, though. That's what I think. Are you an Iraq veteran? Yes, sir. Thank you for your service and for your sign. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to see you. Come on in, guys. Let's go. Let's have a drink. Thank you, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. This is back up this way. Thank you. 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 Come to the meeting. Thank you. Can I get a picture, please? Sure you can. Are you a wrestler? <laughs> Good for you. He was. Okay. Kyle, so you're going to take some You from Bluebirds, PA? No, I'm from Hershey. That's great. I've been in 41 towns in Pennsylvania. Working for Hillary. This is great. Do you want to take a picture? Look at that. Right there. We'll all get in. Make one big one. Stick with it. Come on, let's have a group. I'll let them get in. Thank you. 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 Folks love you. Thanks again, man. Let's go in, guys. What do you say? Those are great pants. If I were younger, I'd wear those. Those are great. I love it. Come on in. So one last thing, Mike.